I love the Xboxes out there talking trash to PlayStation. You know, this ABK acquisition, um, you know, it has exposed a lot of different things, but I'm finally happy to see Xbox out there telling PlayStation, you know what? We're giving you guys 10 years. Why don't you go ahead and make a game comparable to Call of Duty? Listen, Microsoft says 10 years is sufficient for Sony to develop a Call of, Call of Duty alternatives. Xbox tells UK regulator there is no bias for offering Sony a longer licensing agreement. 10 years is a long time, guys. 10 years. If a kid is 10 right now, they'll obviously be 20. Like, uh, 10 years is enough time for a kid to become an adult. It's a long time. That's clearly into the PS6 and the next Xbox generation. That's more than enough time. In a bid to gain approval for the deal, Microsoft has told regulators it's willing to make each new Call of Duty game available on PlayStation the same day it comes to Xbox for a 10-year period with full content and feature parity. <laughs> the 10-year term will extend until the next console generation. Moreover, the practical effect of the remedy will go beyond the 10-year period since games downloaded in the final year of the remedy can continue to be played for the lifetime of that console and beyond with backwards compatibility in its dealings with regulators sony has argued that it will be impossible for it to replace call of duty if the series was no longer available on the playstation now i've seen um playstation fanboys up in arms about this I've seen PlayStation fanboys cry and say, this just means they're going to take Call of Duty off of PlayStation in 10 years. It's 10 years, dude. Get over it. If Xbox decides to take away Call of Duty in 10 years, they're up here telling the regulators, yo, 10 years is sufficient for Sony to develop a Call of Duty alternative. Listen, man, Call of Duty is a massive franchise. We know Call of Duty is huge, and it means the world to PlayStation. We're noticing it right now. It means the world to PlayStation. But if they really need a game like Call of Duty, they better get to work. <laughs> we all know how PlayStation has 10 live service games in development, but that doesn't obviously mean all 10 of those games are going to be successful. So PlayStation has to get to work. Now, speaking of PlayStation, you know, let me talk about their fanboys for a second. Their fanboys are livid about this whole ABK acquisition. Guys, I've done so many videos about this topic. I've done so many different videos about PlayStation fanboys crying and nothing's changed. The ABK deal is still huge news and PlayStation fanboys are still crying about this acquisition. Now, there's a PlayStation fanboy, MBG. Now, he used to be an Xbox fanboy back in the day. He flipped. He said Xbox, you know, wasn't doing it for him anymore. And that's fine. You know, he's well within his right to, to switch sides because, you know, it benefited his channel. But he became a crybaby during this whole ABK acquisition. I mean, the dude has just been crying on Twitter, crying on his videos, crying on his podcasts. It's pretty sad. But look what he says when it comes to Microsoft's uh, response about 10 years with Call of Duty. He says, Microsoft is the last publisher that should be making claims like this. In fact, if what they are saying is true, they would need to buy Activision or Bethesda. Microsoft has had ample time to do the exact thing they are claiming their competition should do. Isn't it funny how these guys forget? They conveniently forget shit. Listen, I understand Halo isn't as big as it used to be, but ladies and gentlemen, Halo was absolutely massive. Halo is projected to sell 4 million copies its first 60 days. More than twice as many as the nine runners up combined. It's only the biggest game ever. We were no longer some like tech company trying to be in video games. We were launching one of the biggest entertainment properties of all time. Yeah! Halo 3 embodies our vision for the future of entertainment.
The franchise spawning everything from clothing to action figures and rumors of a Halo movie. Halo 3 really started to make gaming the mainstream cultural phenomenon. Its first day sales could outdo not only the final Harry Potter book, but the debut of Spider-Man 3. When everything was tallied, we had generated over $170 million in revenue in the first 24 hours, setting a new record for the biggest day in entertainment history. Now, Halo was huge, man, absolutely huge. Gears of War was another huge IP. Hell, if you want to even talk about a game like Sea of Thieves, that's a game as a service that's extremely successful. PlayStation is very good at making single player games. That's their strength. Next to Rockstar, PlayStation first party is some of the best at making single player games in my opinion. But they never have made uh, multiplayer games. I mean, they've had some in the past. They had Killzone, but you know, nobody really likes Killzone. Remember, Killzone was supposed to be the Halo killer. They've had, you know, tacked on multiplayers like Uncharted had multiplayer. The Last of Us multiplayer, while decent, it was still tacked on. It was more about the campaign. Well, you have games like Halo, where the focus is the campaign and the multiplayer. We have Gears, the focus is the campaign and the multiplayer. You know, even games like Grounded, a small game, is doing well for Xbox. So for this guy, MBG, to sit up here and cry and act like Xbox hasn't had a successful uh, multiplayer game is absolutely ridiculous. He say, Microsoft um, has Apple time to do the exact same thing they're claiming their competition should do. They've had successful multiplayer games. PlayStation hasn't. PlayStation relied on third party to, to give their players the multiplayer fix. And I've said this several, several times. That's coming back to bite them in the ass. Relying on third party for multiplayer is coming back to bite them in the ass. Now they're trying to do some games as a service. Now they've acquired Bungie. And those things will probably help, but nothing's guaranteed. I always say Xbox um, relied on third party for their first party games in the past. While Xbox first party was developing Halo, Gears, and Forza, they needed other first uh, well exclusives and they depended on third party and that came back to bite them in the ass. There's no Quantum Break 2. There's no Sunset Overdrive 2. There's no Rise Son of Rome 2. In the Xbox 360 generation, games like Bioshock, the sequels were multi-platform, Mass Effect, the sequels were multi-platform, so that came back to bite Xbox in the ass. But guess what? Xbox is trying to fix that shit. Now, some of these ponies want to sit here and act like Xbox needs to, you know, build 25 studios from the ground up all at the same time. That's just not reality. Xbox has the funds. They're buying <laughs> studios. They're buying publishers. They're building their brand. So crying about it, tagging the FTC, tagging Lena Khan, tagging the CMA, CMA is not going to fix it. It's not going to fix it. You guys need to just get over this shit. Get over it. They're going to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation for a minimum 10 years. And if Xbox decides in 10 years to take it off of PlayStation, oh well. 10 years is more than enough time to come up with a comparable version <laughs> of Call of Duty. So I just wanted to do this video, guys, because I can't believe these guys are acting like Xbox hasn't had successful multiplayer games in the past. Halo was literally the, the biggest multiplayer game back in the day. There are so many different games out now, and like I said, Halo isn't as big as it used to be, but 20 years since the game came out, it's still relevant. It's still relevant. People are still playing Halo. They're still having content dropping on Halo. PlayStation doesn't have that. They relied on Call of Duty. <laughs> now it hurts. I know it hurts, PlayStation fanboys. It hurts. It hurts so bad. You'll get over it. Look, guys, it's time for me to get up out of here. But if you like this uh, video, please hit the like button. If you happen to stumble across my channel and you think I'm decent enough, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? 
And if you subscribe, please hit that notification bell to know when my black ass is doing some new content, baby. All right, everybody. Peace and love. Peace and love. Shit. Damn, man. <laughs>